How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to answer one very common question. Is charging your phone in the car bad for your battery? That's right, and I said phone because this video suits all smartphones, so iPhone, Android phones, no matter what. It's a very interesting and kind of complex question because we have some variables. When you're talking about charging your phone in your car, it'll vary a little bit on how you charge it. Maybe you charge it using a cable, or maybe using an adapter like this one, although your cigarette lighter adapter. So there are a few ways on how you can actually charge your iPhone, therefore this question can be a little bit tricky. But don't worry because today I'm gonna answer it and I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know when talking about charging your phone in the car. Is it bad for a battery? Is it good? Is it no problem at all? Which adapter or accessory it's best to use, like cable, adapter, does it make any difference at all? What about charging speed? So I'm gonna talk about all that and I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know. The first thing you need to pay attention to has nothing to do with the accessories you use. It actually has something to do with heat, with overheating to be more precise. Because in most areas of the world, at least some time of the year, maybe the whole year, it's hot. And it's very common that when you're driving, there is sunlight getting in, and it's very common that when you're charging your phone in the car, you pick it up and it's hot just because it's a hot environment in most cases, or at least very often, right? So then, overheating is a huge villain, is your enemy when you're talking about preserving your battery and having a longer and better lifespan, just because batteries don't like heat at all. So pay attention to this when you're driving your car and charging your phone, if it gets hot, try and shelter it from the sun, put in the glove box. Uh, if the glove, glove box is refrigerated, even better, uh, in the center console, put in your, the air conditioner, turn on the air conditioner. So do something to avoid overheating because it'll be really bad for your phone uh, in the following months and years if you're always constantly charging and it's getting really hot, okay? So, overheating, big, big villain. Number two, and this is something that I've mentioned before here on the channel, as you probably know, I have a ton of videos on preserving battery on your smartphone, especially on iPhones, but this tip goes for everybody. It has to do with charging your phone past 80%. And this is another thing that's pretty specific to charging while driving, because it's very common that you have a long commute, or maybe you travel a lot, or you dri your driver, for example, and it's very common that if you leave your phone charging for many, many hours every day, or very often, it's gonna charge past 80%, because it's it's gonna be charging for one hour, two hours, so it's gonna pass 80% and it's gonna reach 100 and keep charging, maintaining at 100%. And as I've mentioned many, many times here on the channel, and I'll have cards and links in the descriptions as sources of what I'm gonna tell you right now, if you've never seen this before, charging your phone past 80% is just bad. This is a well-known subject. All manufacturers have one way or another to limit battery charging past 80% because of this, including Apple, Samsung, and every single manufacturer. Okay, so charging past 80% is really bad, so try and avoid this. Prefer to drive, have your iPhone charging, and then once it reaches 80%, remove it from the charger, and then like leave it, use it, continue using. Once the battery goes down, plug it in once again, and keep working between zero and 80%. This will be very, very good for you, okay? So those are the two first recommendation tips and things you need to pay attention to and be careful while charging while driving, okay? Of course, those are general rules, but they're very important for driving because they have big relation to the way you use and charge your phone while driving, okay? So now we have to talk about maybe the most important, most specific part of this video, which has to do with the accessories. Okay, so we have pretty much three main ways to charge your phone in the car. We have the most typical basic way, which is using a cable. So then most cars nowadays, for many, many years now, have USB or USB ports. So you plug in your cable, plug your phone in, and then you're charging. You have, of course, your cigarette lighter adapter, something like this for a 12 volt outlet, something like that, all right? 
And we have, of course, wireless chargers that more and more cars are coming with these days. Okay, so let's start off because this is a very important thing and depending how and what you choose to actually charge your phone in the car, you may actually degrade your phone battery. Uh, it may actually be bad for you depending on how you use those accessories. Okay, and the first thing you need to pay attention to is actually the quality of the accessory itself. And regardless if you're using a cable or an adapter, or whatever, pay attention to the quality, the brand, what you're actually using to charge your smartphone in your car. Always prefer to use authentic, original, uh, the same brand of your phone as an accessory. So get use the cable that comes in the box and if you're using a cigarette lighter as I just showed you and depending on the brand it doesn't necessarily have one like Apple for example. So go ahead and choose a well-known brand that's sold at a reputable store, maybe uh, a store you know from a brand you know. So do prefer to use good quality accessories because if you use cheap, bad quality quality, you may actually damage your device. This is so, so common, especially on those cigarette lighter models. Sometimes you buy it on a gas station, super cheap for like $1 or something, and it'll actually damage your device. This is a common thing, okay guys? Especially because it's a 12 volt uh, outlet, so it, it uses a lot of voltage, so then depending on the accessory you use, it may actually damage your device. So choose carefully, always authentic, good quality accessories, okay? And the second thing we have to talk about has to do with speed. And this is super important as well because most people actually tend to believe that charging your phone using the cable directly plugged into the car is actually the fastest way, the most efficient way to do it. But it's actually the opposite because USB ports are just slow. They're super slow. On cars, they'll give you an average of 2.5 watts to 5 watts. And this is super slow. Depending on what you're doing with your phone or your tablet, it won't even charge it. It won't even maintain the charge. So it'll actually be coming down, the battery would just go down because it just can't keep up. So then charging using your USB, USB-A or USB-C is not the most efficient way to do it, it's just lower. And using your 12 volt outlet with a good adapter, you can get up to 20 watts of power and that's fast charging. For the iPhone, for example, you're gonna fast charge your phone in your car and not everyone knows this and most people think it's uh, it's a slow port because it's old, it's old fashioned, it looks like those cigarette lighter and all, but no, it's actually a power outlet. It's good, it's fast. So I do recommend that you go ahead and use that if you wanna have more efficiency and just more power fast charging on your phone while charging in your car. And of course, we also have wireless chargers and I don't really like that way of charging for two main reasons. Number one, it's generally slow because wireless charging is slow compared to wire charging, especially if we're using a 20 watt charger as I just mentioned. So then it's going to be a slower charge. It's convenient, of course, but it's slow. And second, it's gonna be a problem with the first tip I gave you in the video, which has to do with overheating because charging wirelessly always create heat. So a car is generally a quite hot environment and then there's sunlight coming in and you're wireless charging it. So I don't really recommend wireless charging because of this, but of course, if you see that it doesn't get really warm uh, on your phone, on your situation, and the speed doesn't bother you, no problem at all. Just be careful with overheating and pay attention to the speed of charging as well, okay? But there's nothing wrong with the method of charging itself, all right? So, charging your phone in your car, is it bad for a battery? And the answer is, of course, no. It's not bad at all. Just be careful with everything I mentioned in this video. So you can use a cable, you can use an adapter, you can use wireless charging. Just make sure to use good accessories if you're using those, authentic, original, good quality from good brands. Pay attention to overheating and don't let it pass 80% when you're charging it and you're good to go. You can charge your phone in your car, no problem. Do as you wish and have some fun, all right? So that's it, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.